Hi guys. Well, I was going to take that apart today, or finish taking that apart, so I was all ready to give the fray a nice coat of paint, and I could clean up all the chrome as best I could, and service it all, and put all that together, but I got talking to Mum on Facebook, and I went over to hers instead. <laughs> oh, and my parcel of Lego arrived this morning, well it arrived at lunchtime, which was actually pretty damn late for my postman. The usual time is anywhere between sort of 8.30 and 9. 9.30 at the latest if he is late. But for, on the odd occasion it is usually around 12. So, um, I'm actually pretty pleased with this buy. It cost uh, 30 quid. Well, um, 38 quid if I count that. So, um, and it cost me 48 quid in total, counting the post. So, yeah, about £10 for postage, which I think for the weight and the size would roughly be a bit about right. But even if the postage was too much, I don't care, because he's got a few extra quid in his pocket for um, a good deal, because he's a good lad to me. So, um, so yeah, I have been gradually sorting through this pile. A few well, I've got three piles there, four if I count that little one there. Um, I've got some car boot stuff coming tomorrow afternoon. Mum's bought it off the same guy that um, I get all my computer gear off. Because um, he does house clearance. That is his, or one of his businesses. Because he does a lot of house clearance and office clearance and scrap metal and whatnot. But he's also got a um, flower selling business as well he's started up. So I don't know if you'd actually class it as two businesses business, businesses businesses in one or two separate businesses. I think I'd class it as two separate businesses personally. Um so yeah, it's quite a large lot. He's only charging us thirty quid for the lot. Or thirty five quid counting two shelf units, so my shed's going to be full tomorrow afternoon. Mum's going to um, probably, probably <coughs> can't talk tonight. Mum will probably get my stepdad to switch the cash over for it tomorrow morning, or whenever, or if he gets back from taking my brother to the orthodontist. Uh, so long as it's done by sort of three o'clock in the afternoon, I don't care because that's when the um, delivery's coming, and I'll have to give him the cash. Uh, if you're wondering what all that jerk was, I was <laughs> trying to find the handlebar to lean on. Actually, you can probably see in the reflection. And I was sort of missing it. I couldn't find it. <coughs> no, I'm not going to lean on that. Actually, I might fall over. Um, I'm going to have a change around. My brother has offered me his computer desk. It was a brand new Christmas gift a year and a half ago now and he hasn't really used it because um, the old computer he was using was a piece of crap so he wouldn't use it and the uh, wireless kept playing up on it and whatnot. not so um, oh pardon me and now he's decided he wants our stepdad to build in like a a built in corner table in his um, in the corner of his bedroom to put his new PC on, which is sitting in the kitchen. Now, because I'm such a nice brother, instead of putting a fresh install of Windows 7 on, hang on, I'll put the light on, that might help, on this one, I've got my spare Windows 7 down there, which I'm not using. I'm going to take the hard drive out of that and bug in this one, because I do believe that's a bigger hard drive as well. He said he wanted a bit more storage than the 116 gigabytes that's on it. Which is fair enough, you know. So now I'll probably put that one into this one and do another fresh install. Whenever I feel like it, you know. It's not important that I get that one done. Because um, he wanted to get it done for the 29th. Because he wanted to get um, upgrade to Windows 10. You know, take advantage of the free upgrade. Um, but we can't because we're having trouble finding the funds. 
And I was only like 35 quid for the set of 8 gigabyte uh, DDR3 memory for this. As we've looked up. Was it 1800 millihertz is the max it can fit in, um, or the max this motherboard will run. Um, so what I was going to do is actually connect this one up and uh, wait for that to come up with the reserve your copy now thingy, if it will, and reserve a copy for him on that machine. Uh, because when we get it going, as soon as we turn on this machine with the hard drive from this machine in it, We'll be able to um, upgrade it straight to Windows 10. In the that's my theory. <laughs> it may not work in theory. Um, I've got a bit of t wiring tidying up. You know, I'll do a better job on that. I only bodged it up just to see if, uh, oops, see if all these lights and fan will work. So I'll put a proper connector in there. Um, but he did remind me. But I didn't put a thermal post on the processor. I just put a processor in there and the fan on just to keep the parts safe and basically reserved for this machine. So um, I'm going to have to take the video card out so I can get easier access to that because I don't want to reach over the bloody. Mind you, I might be able to do it with that in there. But yeah, I've got to take that off and put the thermal paste on that. I'm sure there was something else I was going to do. Have you got a card reader or anything on this? Nope. I, I'm not going to put in one on because I don't even use mine anymore. You know, even with this camera, it's just plugged straight into the computer to put the files straight to the PC. But yeah, what I'm going to do, going back to computer desk. Sorry, I've got an itchy back, so the camera's got to sway for a minute. <laughs> My current computer table, I'm going to use that as my sort of a electrical stroke hobby desk, and it's going to go in here. And I'm going to put the computer desk I'll get off my brother, hopefully next week, um, in the space there. Mainly because there's more room on the top. I could actually put dupes, well, they'll only be little monitors like that, or one like that and one like that. But I was going to put dual monitors up there. Sometimes that makes life so much easier, especially when you're multitasking. You know, if I'm editing videos or something, I don't have to keep switching between windows. I can just drop them from one screen to the other. And I can see two things at the same time without having to minimise things and maximise things and... So, uh, well, as you can see, I wouldn't able, I'm not able to do it on that one because they're in the room. But his is, um, it's not as deep that way, but his is longer. Um, which means for the keyboard drawer, I can also get the computer mouse on as well, which leaves the whole top desk completely free. And there's also some shelving and whatnot underneath as well. Like I said, I don't know where Mum and Stepdad got it from. You know, it was a Christmas present for him, and he's uh, never really used it. It's just sat in the bedroom. So, I'm going to buy it off him. He, want, he only wants 20 quid for it, so. Um, and if I can get the cash, I'll buy his bike off him as well. Because uh, then I'll sell my old Ellswick, probably, that I've got at Mum's, or break it up for bits, I don't know, or just hack it around. I don't know, I'll think of something to do with it. Because uh, I wouldn't need two bikes over at Mum's, although I suppose having a spare one kicking about over there wouldn't be a bad thing in case someone needs it. But um, he's only wanting to sell that and the table to get some money together for the um, memory for his PC. It's pitch black over there. Actually, 20 past 11, and I can hear a bloody seagull over there. No correction, I can hear several seagulls out there. What the hell, man? I'm five miles from the sea. <laughs> Hello, we've got a car sitting down here. You can't see it, but where that light is, you can see. Where's my finger? Right there. 
said there's a car right below it, and then there's the cleanest car over there. I don't know. I've just never seen a car parked at night over there. Unusual. I don't nose out of my window deliberately, you know, I don't sit there all day and nose, it's just... I just happen to take a glance and see it over there. Ooh! There is a, um, light in the, um, car boot stuff. That's actually, um, the same as my bathroom light up there. Where's my switch? And, um, it's not actually as big as that, that is smaller. And, uh... I want to keep that. I don't, don't want to put that on the car boot. Cause, um, well, I've got a couple of uses. I could put it outside the workshop for outside light during winter. So we don't have to keep going down there with a the friggin' torch. <laughs> or, I was going to put it in another part of the workshop. Um, where some better light is needed. Because they're good bright lights, them things are. Oh, right. Um, I was going to put that Mega Drive on eBay because I figured I don't need two. That one works and will pro probably see little use. So I know this one works as well. So I was actually debating whether to take it to the car boot Saturday and see if I can get a fiver for it, because I know it's worth at least a fiver. Because I know it works. I just don't have any cables to put with it. I, when I bought both Mega Drives together, they only came with the one set of cables. So, that was a, you know, it sucks that only one set of cables came with it, but I did use that one set to check both, as I've got videos on my channel that shows that. So, uh I don't know. Well, suppose if I put it on eBay, I could link that video in on the eBay ad so people can actually see them working. And because uh, I've seen them, just just the console like that, no cables or controllers or games, and people asking ten pounds for them. But uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not that bloody. Greedy. No, yeah. I know I paid twenty quid for the two, so if I got a fiver for that, I'd be happy. I'd at least get a fiver of the twenty quid I spent back, wouldn't I? Ooh, right. I was just thinking. <laughs> I always go quiet when I'm thinking. Um, I'll take that through to the bedroom later. Oh yeah, wherever they've gone, those um, caravan tail light clusters they sold. The guy um, managed to pay today, but PayPal glitched, and for some reason sent the um, ten pounds twice. So I had to send one back. <laughs> No idea what happened there. And then Yahoo wouldn't let me reply to his um, actual email address, so I had to message him through eBay. <sighs> so many modern technology and so many bloody glitches, it can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Anyway, that's paid for that sort. I've just got to box them up and post them. Um, I'm going to have a busy few days, so that probably won't be till Monday now. But. Uh, it's actually a shame, because I could have done with them, because my stepdad's just been given a trailer frame. Well, it's actually an old trailer tent. You know, one of those trailers where the um, it folds out into like a tent for camping and whatnot. But it's just the frame now, and it's only got one tail light on the back, so I'm sort of regretting selling them now, because I could have put those on the back. Never mind. They're um, cheap enough for a little tail light for those anyway. And it'll only really need your standard, um, what do you call it, tail light, brake light and turn signals on it anyway. I've got a huge ass moth flying around in my kitchen. 
I don't know if we'll um, see him. <laughs> That's not big enough to be a hawk moth. That's one thing I've ever had in this fire. I've never had a hawk moth. Clung. I don't have to make a clung, clung sound or clank sound when I fly into something. Don't fly around there, you'll land in the grease, you muppet. I've had you land in far flying pans. Fucking flying pans. I've had moths land in frying pans before when I've left them on here with a bit of grease in. It's my fault, because I should have put it in the oven out of the way, but... <laughs> yes, I need to clean the oven. I actually had a suicidal moth the other night. It flew past the back of my fan in the bedroom and got sucked in through the blades. So I felt something hit me, and when I looked, there was a bloody shredded moth on the bed. <laughs> and so I thought, yeah, suicidal moth. Just turn that light off. Now the moth will probably fly either into the bedroom or into the lounge, because it will fly towards the light. I'd love to know what it is with insects that make them attracted to the light. Is it the heat they give off? Because spotlights like this give off a lot of heat. Um, it probably wasn't my best choice of lighting, actually. Not during summer, anyway. As it is now, because when it's a hot day, it hasn't been very hot lately. It's been comfortable, at least for me, anyway. Mm, there's I had not no. I could see headlights come pointing at the car park, but I think someone was just turning around. But I'm um, on a hot day with these spotlights on. Whew, you don't have sweat because if you think about it, I'm sitting down here somewhere underneath the lights. It's almost like being in a film studio. But uh, these are just normal spotlights, not halogen lights or whatever it is they use in studios now. Probably still use halogens. I don't know. Maybe they use LED lights now. Who knows? Actually thinking about it, I don't think an LED light would um, give off enough light to light up a st big old studio, so they probably still use the old sort of big bright electricity draining halogen bulbs. Oh. Just let a little trump go, and I'd, <laughs> I don't think I'd dare trump too hard. I'll probably follow through. Um, one of these days, I'll find something to do with that. The old security camera. <laughs> uh, well, you'd see these in the other in the previous video before this one. Still up here. Haven't had a chance to take them down yet. I've got to sort out in the shed anyway. Actually, that'd be a good idea to do that tomorrow because my stacks of cones have moved. <laughs> so I need as much room in there as possible. <laughs> so I could get all the cardboard stuff in there. Easy peasy. But uh, naturally, me being the um, sort of a... I don't know a salvage type person, I'll um, have a look through and pick out anything I can find that's useful to me. And <laughs> Mum can have the rest to put on the car boot. Uh, there is a couple of shelf units that um, cost a fiver for the pair that Gaz is going to put in the um, workshop. Not sure how we're going to get those over yet, because um, I won't go in the back of the car. But, I know Mum was going to pay him, like, uh, a delivery charge, you know, um, pay him for delivery, but I just want to save Mum a bit of cash. <clears throat> Besides, I might keep the metal computer table that's there as well. Might. I 
could actually fix this because I could take the drawer runners off of the metal one. So that's all that's wrong with this. Well, on the top here has got a bit damaged where I've been a pillock and caught up with um, an art knife. I'm cutting it at the top because I'm an empty. It can actually tick me off because this is a nice table. I do like the um, shelf at the top there. But, not needed. So, uh, I think I'd make a nice little um, hobby table in the bedroom anyway. Yeah, I probably wouldn't keep the metal computer table. I won't need it. No, I just have absolutely no use for it. As well as nowhere to put it. I think that's my biggest thing I hate about living in this flat. I don't have the room to do what I really want to do. I would love a bigger place, to be honest. But, I'm not going to say I'm unhappy here, because I'm not unhappy here, because I do like it. You know, got pretty decent neighbours, as I've said before. I've also said before that I'm close to everything that I need to be well, not need to be close to, but it's an advantage anyway. You know, I'm close to all the supermarkets and shops and whatnot. But uh, yeah, if I could, I'd have got rid of that sofa. But even though I store crap on it, I do. Sure, I'm seeing some shadows been cast on that current. A lot of my eyesight really is playing tricks on me tonight. And that completely sidetracked me from what I was going to say. <laughs> oh well. Couldn't have been that important then. I wouldn't... One of the things that I would want some more room for is uh, collecting my um, traffic equipment, like my cones and Lamps and like a bigger shed. So I'd get more in it because I'd buy new if I could. If I could buy brand new cones, I would. Because, um, them big blue ones, they're not a common one. I don't know why I keep doing that with the camera. <laughs> um, I know JSP do a green version of that as well. Which I would love to get hold of. Again, not a common colour. Unless I could buy it straight from JSP, but I don't think they'd sell me just the one. <laughs> I could email them and ask them, of course. Send me just one current, please. <laughs> And I'll pay you five pounds just plus the postage for one cone. <laughs> you never know, they might, you know, you don't know unless you ask. Could be an asshole and use my uh, Asperger's as a lever, if you like, to try and get something to happen, but I'm not, I'm not that much of a big asshole. <laughs> I made that vow when I was diagnosed not to use it for things like that, or an excuse. How is that rattling in my pocket? My keys, I think. Sounds like keys and something else. No, it is just my keys. Hmm. Mm. So, tomorrow... I have a busy day. I've got that to do, which I might actually do tomorrow evening, actually. Because uh, I'll need to sort the shed first and make some room in that. Uh... Oh dear. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, da -da -da -da. And if I get a bit of free time, I can build those body bag models and that will be a video reviewing those and put the video up on the Lego channel 
I've already done a video regarding this well that arrived today. Some interesting pieces. Mm, that's a nice funky looking windshield. What's the time? Oh, 25 minutes. Alright then, I'm going to end the video. I don't go on much longer. I don't know what Nemo is asking for. I've already fed him unless he's polished that up in his dish already. Um, have I taken a pill tonight or not? I believe I haven't. I'll check the tray because I'll know by how many is left in the tray if I have or not. Um, well, that reminds me, I'm going to have to go and order some flip aside. So I've got two days left. Two days. You might just be able to see them down there. Need the two little white dots in the tray. So all I've got one of those a day and two of the met form in a day. And one um, flexitine antidepressant. <sighs> Boy, don't I know it when I go without my bloody antidepressant. Jesus. Depressant. Not depressant. 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 Yeah. Can you tell squirrels are my favourite animal? Yep. Squirrels! It's not something I actively collect. It's just if I happen to find one that I like. Uh, then I'll um, just pick it up and that's basically what I've done. And I don't go out of my way to buy a squirrel ornament every time I see one. I've even got soft squirrel toys as well in the cupboard. I've got a puppet somewhere, I've got a hand puppet. I don't know where that's just been. Anyway, I'm going to shut the video off. So, uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. I'm not sure what Nemo's watching. He's staring at something on the wall. That would not be a big ass spider. It would be big assing itself up the vacuum cleaner if it is. Yeah. Oh, I just heard a rumble of thunder. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again in, in the next video. So, uh, bye bye.